Recent child poverty stats reveal that more than 1.3 million Canadian children, or one in five, live in poverty, with little or no access to nutritious food. One organization in Hamilton, Ontario, that is trying to curb this disturbing trend is Food for Kids. I met up with Carla, a local volunteer on one of her weekly deliveries, to find out more. Hi, Carla. Hi. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm great. Look Providing healthy boxed and canned food items, along with some basic perishables, Food for Kids delivers hundreds of bins of food to more than 1,000 vulnerable children all across the city. Carla, a mom of twins, got involved when her company became a sponsor. Since having my, my kids, uh, it's really changed my perspective. I feel that I have these necessities that I need and the luxuries that I have with myself and my husband, both in a full-time employment situation, and we have lots of family. So for me, it's really thinking how, how much stress these parents are carrying not being able to feel like they can provide for their kids. So to have a program like this that can alleviate that little bit of stress that they may feel just in this one component um, probably makes a huge difference in their lives. Now you normally, during the school year, you bring the, the food to the schools. Correct. And the administration people there would distribute it. Correct. But different in the summertime, you actually get to go to the homes. Yes. Has that changed your perspective or understanding to the needs? We are actually physically going to the homes of these students and meeting the parents and seeing the conditions that they live in and making making it a little bit more obvious as to why they maybe are in need of this program. Uh, however, with that said, we also get to see the joy that it brings. I imagine you cry a few tears then. Yep, there's, there's definitely a lot of sad tears with this program, but there's so many happy ones too because you do truly see um, how happy the kids are and that and knowing that you're giving being able to give these kids this food um, Selfishly makes you feel great because you know you're making a difference even though it might be small to you like a couple hours out of my day to deliver these packages um, But this is making a huge impact in their lives over the last over the week after delivering food to two very grateful Syrian families who had recently arrived to Canada I spoke with Nancy Phelan about the program's reach into the local refugee community. I tracked the metrics for, for Hamilton and uh, even compared to the year before, we probably were up with new Canadians in the program by about 50%. Uh, so uh, it really did have an impact on our program, but uh, what we want to do is, of course, reach out and support those families that are most in need, and that's what we've been able to do. Tell me about how this organization got started. It all started about five years ago in Hamilton uh, when a little boy early one Monday morning asked if we had any food to eat. He had nothing to eat all weekend long. And that's really what sparked the idea of feeding children yeah. on the weekend. We think of things, you know, starting up with the school year, feeding these kids, but you went right through the summer and now you're getting ready for the fall again. Often a lot of um, support ends at the end of the school year when kids go off for summer vacation, but hunger never takes a rest. And so uh, we are the program in Hamilton that supports these children all through the summer months. We figure it's about $10 a bag for, for 1,050 children. That's, that's the amount that we spend every week. And so when people are, are wonderful, you know, folks that donate their time and their finances, this is where the money goes. It goes to feed, feeding children in need. 